10 Things No One Told You Before Coming to Brazil Brazil has long been associated with exotic images. That is why you would find it on many people's bucket lists. However, reports of drug-related and other kinds of criminality have not escaped the attention of international media. Consequently, travelers are left perplexed. They are attracted on one hand by the fun and exotic views and picturesque of the tropical location. On the other hand, they are worried about being victimized in a hazardous country. For that reason, most tourists are uncertain as to what they should or shouldn't do while in Brazil. They probably were not told the real do's and don'ts will make them enjoy the country. Here are 10 things no one told you before coming to Brazil. 1. Don't be too trusting. Many people would try to take advantage of good-natured tourists. As one of the least safe countries in South America, Brazil has a horrible reputation for violence, crime and the large number of murders committed there. Although these numbers are accurate in certain cases, the truth behind them is connected to do the illegal operations of gangs that are based far away from tourist sites. Brazil is generally safe for travelers and tourists. Of course, there are reports of non-violent pickpocketing or muggings. However, in the vast majority of cases, tourists don't have to worry about these. Still, you may not be advised to take preventative measures in major urban areas like Salvador, Recife and Rio de Janeiro. Meanwhile, you need to do this and secure your belongings. 2. Always carry your photo ID. Most credit card companies recommend that IDs should be checked. Though most retailers don't ask, you will still be using your credit cards a lot. I would predict that one in every 20 retailers would want to see your ID before accepting your credit card. The fact that you will be carrying a Xerox copy of your passport should make this an insignificant issue. Also, if you intend to obtain a Brazilian SIM card for your cell phone, you will be required to provide identification. 3. Don't shy away from new foods. Recipes abound in Brazil and much of it seems strange to foreigners. Yet almost all of it is delicious. Slaves brought from Africa, indigenous peoples, Europeans, South Americans and Asian countries have all had a significant impact on Brazilian cuisine since the Portuguese colonization of the country in the 16th century. Following the abolition of the slave trade, Brazil began recruiting Europeans and Japanese immigrants to work on the coffee plantations. Today, Brazil is home to the world's biggest group of Japanese descendants outside of Japan, numbering over 1.6 million. Although many people are unfamiliar with the Portuguese language, Brazilian cuisine is sure to delight everyone. Brazilian cuisine has become both accessible and acceptable to a wide range of palates because it combines rich ingredients and diverse cultural influences. To outsiders, it may initially appear a little strange, but they are simply incredible. 4. Showers run on electricity, no boiler. You may not have been told that in Brazil, there's no boiler. As a visitor to the country, you'll be surprised to find cables coming out of the showerhead for the first time. I've been told my entire life that electricity and water are a lethal combination. But in Brazil, this is what will greet your eyes and you may not believe it at first. You shouldn't be concerned since electric showers are really safe if they're installed correctly. A heating element is contained within a sealed enclosure. And since the electric current goes through the element, you will not experience a shock. 5. The driving culture is very bad. Be careful. Brazilian motorists are among the most reckless and aggressive drivers you will ever come across in your life. When they get behind the wheel, they can be belligerent. Many of them even have guns in their vehicles. Please, always be very cautious on highways and never ever drive in the left lane. Being a left lane hog in your native country would undoubtedly irritate people. But doing so in Brazil will almost certainly cost you your dear life. Allow only passing traffic to use the left lane and promptly return to the right lane whenever it is safe to do so. Maintain a safe braking distance between your car and the one in front of you since this will provide a larger opportunity for an aggressive or impatient driver to pass you. If it is essential, shift to the right of the route to make it easier for the motorist to pass through. Trying to keep up with the flow of traffic in Brazil might be more dangerous than driving too quickly, so try not to dog pack the traffic. You should never become furious if you are cut off in traffic or if another driver does anything dumb or unexpected. You should never curse at him or her and should never make any obscene hand gestures. This is all the provocation some motorists require to come to a complete stop, pull out a pistol and open fire. 6. Don't drink water from the tap. You may not have been told before, coming to Brazil, that it's not safe to drink water directly from the tap. 
One major issue with Brazilian tap water is the way it is being treated. Unsafe chemicals and treatments are employed to make the water potable. This procedure adds an unpleasant flavor to Brazilian water. The majority of locals prefer to drink bottled water since it tastes better to them. Even while the water is safe to use for non-drinking purposes and may even be used for cooking if boiled, they fall far short of the requirements set in the United States and Europe. However, in some areas, such as Rio de Janeiro, you may request free filtered water from restaurants and dance clubs. Yet the personnel at these establishments are not inclined to grant such demands. 7. It gets cold in some parts of Brazil in winter. Rio de Janeiro is well known for its stunning beaches and for being a place that is most associated with summer and hot weather in general. Was it ever brought to your attention that some locations in Brazil may get extremely cold to the point where it snows? Yes, it does get chilly in some parts of Brazil during the winter. While the southern region of Brazil can be chilly throughout the winter season, the remainder of the country can be warmer. The state of Santa Catarina recorded the lowest temperature in Brazilian history in 1996 with a bone-chilling minus 17.8 degrees Celsius. If you decide to visit this region of Brazil, you should exercise extreme caution. 8. Don't talk about politics. Brazilians, in general, are quite simple to get along with. You can discuss virtually anything with them, with the exception of a few topics. Politics is unquestionably one of those topics that piss off Brazilians. This may be one of the things no one told you before coming to Brazil. Political arguments may become quite hot at times. It is not that they are unaware of the political situation in their country, it's just that the majority of them choose not to discuss it. Political issues are quite complicated, and this is the case in Brazil. I'm not sure you have enough understanding of the politics of another country. 9. Don't show off your valuables. Brazil has had a difficult time dealing with the media, which tends to depict the country in a poor light when it comes to crime and homicide rates. While these occurrences are obviously not without basis, they tend to occur in poorer and drug gang neighborhoods. In other words, in locations that are outside of the big tourist destinations. The fact is that the vast majority of tourists to Brazil are able to return home without being involved in any regrettable situations. Assaults and muggings, on the other hand, do and can occur. Thus, it is advisable to take precautions to prevent being a victim. Leave your costly jewelry at home. Refrain from using the phone on the street and avoid wearing bags that cross your chest. 10. Don't expect everyone to speak English. Not everyone in Brazil knows English, so don't make the typical mistake of assuming that Spanish would suffice. While Spanish is related to Portuguese, it is still distinct enough that you will not always be understood. The most beneficial thing you could possibly do is to attempt to study a few sentences. The list of 10 things no one told you before coming to Brazil can make a difference in your experience in the country. You may know other things worthy of mention here. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Oh, and if you do wind up coming to Brazil one day, have a great time!